Oh, hello. Okay, so I promised you this, uh, well, I promised you this video for a long time. Well, not a long time, but a longish time. I've been meaning to do this video for a longish time. And now we're here. So, uh, today I wanted to just show you around my new place. Uh, a lot of people have been asking what it's like. Um, I've shown it off slightly in previous videos. The, the video where I set up my new TV. It was a funny one. I dropped it a few times. <laughs> um, and a video where I was basically licking everyone's bum hole saying thank you for being amazing. So, you've seen bits of it if you've seen those videos. But in this, ep in this video, anyway, I wanted to just take you around the whole place, talk about why I've made it the way I have, but also the living room slash kitchen area, I need to like fill it out a bit. I want to put a bit of furniture in there or maybe just some nice things to make it feel more homely. So if you have any suggestions for anything where I show you, please suggest it. I'll take anything. I won't be offended. I won't think, oh, you don't like my place. I will, you know, take everything <laughs> lovely. Yeah, whatever that means. Oh, oh, I smashed this. I didn't even realize. That's a shame. Never used it, but still a shame. You know, when you, you see something that's broken and you're like, oh, that sucks. But then you realize you never actually used the thing. Or is that just me? I don't know. Anyway, let's get into this. If you want to enjoy this video, though, you want to see more videos like this. I am thinking about doing more in real life videos. I will talk towards the end about a few changes I'm thinking of doing. Um, soon-ish, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Firstly though, let me show you around. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Do it. Links below. Let's go. Oh, and also, merch. Look at that. Look at that. You know you want it. You know you want it. Ah. All right, well, just to start with, I'm just gonna wide angle this. I'm filming this on my uh, iPhone 11 thing. Pro? Is it a pro? I think it's a pro. Yeah, pro. Baby. Uh, the quality's not as good in this like fisheye thing, but it just sort of, well, makes everything clearer and you can see it better and stuff. So yeah, sorry if you don't like it, maybe I could do it again without. But in my opinion, when I film in this, this is basically what I see when I look out of my eyeballs. So yeah. Anyway, front door is here. Yes, I have weapons there. That's like a tennis ball launcher for a dog and that's a plastic baseball bat. I'll get onto my weapons in a second, but basically, if you didn't know, I got broken into in my previous place and they stole my laptop and my phone. Yeah, good guy, what a guy, great geezer. Um, so, not that I think I'm gonna get broken into here, but let me just say, it was a very traumatic experience and it made me learn a lot. And if it happens again, um, no matter what room it happens in, if I get encountered by someone that's not supposed to be there, well, <laughs> it's safe to say they won't be leaving alive. But yeah, that's not a threat. Well, it is if you try and break into my house, but still, yeah. That's a plastic one, like I said. That's not, I'm gonna shut up. All right, straight as way as you come inside. This is just a little storage room, but I'm sure you'll wanna see it. I've got a wash on at the moment. Don't blame the noise. My big TV box. I made this like shoe cupboard thing. I'm gonna take the doors off this wardrobe. It, it was just a wardrobe. This this sort of closet area goes like a lot further back that way. So up until where that wall is there, it does actually go all the way past that. But yeah, I thought I put a load of stuff behind there just to keep it away that I'm never gonna need. And then um, I'm gonna take the doors off this and it's just like a walk-in shoe sort of wardrobe thing. Obviously when I've cleaned all this out, I need to keep this, but put it in storage, hopefully. I storage meaning my parents' house, but we'll see. Um, okay, moving on. This is like the hallway area. Um, this is at the moment. <laughs> so I, I think I showed you a while back, like I had this bag full of wires. I've basically now sorted through most of the wires, put all the ethernet cables in there, all the HDMI cables in there. Um, what's in this one? That's like power cables and stuff and uh, all like internal computer cables, things like that, and that's empty. But yeah, that was a, a fun experience, but anyway. This is like my office slash spare bedroom, obviously. I, I wanna make it, I wanna make it look nice. I've considered putting the TV there and then putting 
sort of that pillow thing against there and it's like a big sofa. Uh, so it's sort of like when no one's using it as like a guest bedroom, because how often am I really going to have guests over, let's be honest. You know, when no one's using it, then it feels more like a lounge part of my office. Um, and I could sit there and do videos or whatever, or, you know, so I'm open to ideas, but for now, that's how it is. Um, but like I said, I might put the TV there and just make it a bit more like a different living area rather than a sleeping area. And then just make this look like a, a, a sofa instead of a bed. I don't know. Yes, there's a lot of mess under there. Okay. I'm still tidying everything up. If you must know, there's also a lot of mess in here, but yeah. Me being a clever boy, I figured out a way to hide it. Now, what I mentioned about proper weapons before, these, all right, these right here. Uh, a, 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 a viewer of mine, Kit, I don't know if you remember, if you ever watched my Days Gone streams, you'll remember him. Um, he basically looked like my Days Gone videos, so he offered to make me this, and he did, and he sent it to me. This is real, it's like a real baseball but that's a real saw blade it's very heavy and if i actually swung at somebody it would kill them so um again don't break into my flat also we've got this one here which is the second one he made which i love really <laughs> it's just mad um this is an old 49 inch 4k tv i bought it a few years ago when i was in university um I don't even know what the model number is, but I'm pretty sure you can't get it anymore, but I'm pretty sure you can get much better for cheaper now. So, yeah. Uh, and then this is the sort of corner where I work. Now, I'm, I'm still wondering what to do with this desk area, just because I think I like it how it is. But when I first moved in, I had this desk all the way up to there. And then I had that desk like next to it. So it was just one long desk along this wall. But then it blocked the window and I like being able to walk up to the window and look out and, you know explore the view or whatever i don't know but then having it like this in the corner takes up more of the room whereas when it was up against there it took up none of the room and the room was still huge but then again in saying that the room's still massive anyway so <laughs> i don't know and like it's like i said if i move this tv to there then it'll be fine either way though i'm thinking about getting one of those standing desks so for my key i'm like well I know you can get very expensive ones, but I just want one from Ikea for like £500. And basically then I'll just have the one desk and um, it should be really nice. So then it would be a lot cleaner look. It would just sit in the corner and it would probably be... Like it would look quite basic, but I don't really need a fancy setup. I just want something that gets the job done, you know? Yeah. Um, this is a monitor. I need to send that back to BenQ so they can send me a different one so that I can do a review video on it. So bear with me on that. I actually need to get in contact with them. I've just been very busy because I've been moving and everything. Um, you know what headphones I use? Because I mentioned it in my last room tour in the previous place. But these are the Astro A40 TRs. Uh, There's my 16-inch MacBook Pro. So my 15-inch one got stolen. So it was a perfect excuse to buy this. No, I wasn't insured. So I had to pay full price. Yeah! But it's fine. It's all good. It's my own fault. Get insurance. Seriously. Seriously. I didn't think I'd need it. Turns out I did. Um, my PC specs I'll put in the description. I'll put all the specs for everything I own and links to stuff that I own in the description so you can find out the official names of it or if I forget to mention something and you want to know what it is. Uh, Logitech Brio 4K. Uh, I'm going to start putting face cam back in certain things. Not all my videos, but like playthroughs and stuff and walkthroughs. Um, this monitor, again, I will link in the description because I don't know the name of it. Nor about nor the keyboard. I, I know it's Corsair, same as the mouse. I don't really know much. This mouse pad is disgustingly full of bacteria. This has probably got Ebola, Zika, coronavirus, everything inside of it. And I'm fine because, you know, I use this every day and it's, I'm immune now. Rode NT1A microphone with a Rode microphone stand that just clips onto my desk. This is a nice, nice desk from John Lewis. Very old now, but it's a lovely one. Absolutely lovely. But like I said, I'm getting a standing desk, so both of these will be going. Um, and then my PC there, like I said, I'll, I'll put the specs in the, in the description because I can't be bothered going through everything. But uh, it's got a 1080 Ti in there and 16 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator. I don't know, whatever you call it. I've got a mini fridge um, and another wardrobe and like a TV there. That's my first ever TV that I bought for myself. I don't want to. I don't want to bin it. I don't want to sell it because you know it's sentimental. But I'll never use it. So it sits up there face down, so I can't even see the thing. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either. Elgato green screen. Um, I'm 
I, like I said, I'm bringing back face cam in my videos, but I don't know whether to bring back the uh, the green screen face cam or not. So I guess let me know in the comments for that. Then it, just in here, this is the ensuite. So this room was supposed to be like the master bedroom, hence why you've got the ensuite. But I'll show you my bedroom in a second. I much prefer it because it's got an extra window in there. There's a lot more light. It's a bit smaller in my opinion, but I like that. For a bedroom, I don't need a huge bedroom. I just want somewhere that it's like it's a nice place to relax and it's a nice place to wake up to or in. And, um, you know, having an ensuite is not the end of the world when there's another bathroom just opposite the other bedroom. So it, I'm not really fussed about that. And it means if I'm ever like, working really hard and I just need the toilet quickly, I can do that. And it also means whatever guest is here, because I'm going to have my brother over at some point, it means he has got his own bathroom, you know? So it makes sense. But yeah, it's quite a nice little bathroom as well. Shop. <laughs> yeah. All right. Never mind. <coughs> oh Jesus! Also, you may have noticed this. I've been umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, just because the second one's coming out soon. I want to get back into it. Also, The Last of Us. Do I? Let me know down below all right then coming out of my office and into the next room this is the bedroom it's uh i i, I love this room it might actually be other than the kitchen slash living room thing obviously that's the, my favorite room because it's the biggest but this is like my favorite non kitcheny room non-main room this is my favorite way more than the office as well i don't just look at this man just look at the windows the window situation. You see why I wanted this as my bedroom? Because it's so simple. There's nothing really going on. You've got my got my all my clubs in there. Got my TV. Uh, it's a 50 inch 4K TV. Um, you know, clothes are in there. But then it's just nice and 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 plain. And this bed. Oh my god, this bed. In my last place, I was in a bed that was like I think it was like a single and then a half. I don't know what size that is. Like a the smallest double bed you can get. I don't even think it classed as a double bed, but it was horrifying. Not to sound snobby, but it was. Um, this thing, is, I, well, it's, it's not the biggest bed in the world, but it's plenty big enough for me. Plenty. Way bigger than my previous one, so I'm really happy about that. Um, it's the compass thing ever, and the view, waking up to the view. See, I don't even, I don't even set an alarm anymore, because not, well, I, I, I don't really have to wake up at a certain point anyway, but... Let's say I did. I wake up at about eight o'clock every day anyway, because I leave these open because I like to sleep to like the, the, you know, the nice with all the lights of the city and everything. And then I wake up to the natural sunlight. It wakes me up and I don't feel groggy or anything like that because it's a nice way to wake up. Trust me, try it. If you can, try it. It's worth it. All right, then just opposite, like I said, there's a um, bathroom just through here. It's not the cleanest, so I won't really go into it, but... Toilet, bath, shower, big mirror. It's all gravy and a big old radiator. Lovely. And then through to here is, ow, stupid door. Through here is the favorite room, obviously. Stripper pole, because you know what flat is complete without a stripper pole. This kitchen, plain but gorgeous. Don't you think? Wouldn't you agree? Ignore the bins. That's, uh, yeah, ignore them. This is just, I don't know, I love this. I didn't think I liked grey that much, but I do. Grey flooring too. Nice. Uh, I recently did a trip to Costco as well, and I just got a load of stuff. For some reason, I've done two trips to Costco now, and the majority of the things I've bought have been drinks. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I don't seem to get any snacks or anything, and every time I get back, I'm like, where's all the snacks at? But all I've got really is coffee and this. <laughs> if I get a UTI, I'm sorted. Apple juice because I love apple juice. And then beer and sparkling water and juices. And yeah, I, if I get coronavirus, I think I'll be just fine. And then over this way, well, I, this is what I need to help help with. All right. I'm thinking maybe get some dividers or something. You know, those things that fancy people in New York lofts have and it like sort of divides the room up. I don't know. Though. I don't know if it looks silly or not. Or maybe just put like one here behind there, just to sort of make that into like a living room that's... But then again, that would make the room feel smaller. I, I don't know. Do I just leave this open or do I get a big rug here maybe? That'll just fill it out a bit, make it a bit less echoey. 
I don't know, let me know. But, um, oh, the dining room table there. Not that I'm going to use it, but hey, what are you going to do? My brother got me this picture. It's nice. You know, I just want to be a money whore, so working on that. Working on that. Power, give me the money. Stare at that every day. Dollar bills, yo. Um, I've started actually working out now, genuinely. I, just, I need to eat. I realize you can't really do much if you don't have energy and, and like food in your system, but I'm, I'm getting there. A man's going to be healthy. I spend a lot of time sat down and stuff, so I need to like work out my back a lot. I've just realized that. And uh, yeah, so that's what my weights are for. The little roof terrace out there, balcony, whatever you want to call it. I call it a roof terrace because it sounds fancy. Uh, this sofa is was my mate's. I don't know if he wants it back, but he hasn't said anything. It's the same guy that's just disappeared out of everyone's lives, so we don't know if he's dead or alive. So, Drew, if you're alive, let me know. I've got your sofa. And if you want it, I guess you're going to have to come get it back yourself because I'm not bringing this back down the lift, man. It took me a long ass time. Um, <laughs> but I appreciate that he, that he let me use it when he moved out the last place. Nice little coffee table. Here's my new TV. It's, um, I'll link it in the description, but it's like a 65 inch LG OLED TV. I wanted an OLED for ages. And I thought this room's kind of big, so I should probably put a big TV in it. Otherwise TV is going to look small. And I think I got the right one. <laughs> I, was, I originally bought the 55 inch from John Lewis because they had uh, an interest free offer on it for like 20 for 18 months but then I looked online after I'd already put my name down for it and I found the 65 inch one for exactly the same price on a different website which is this so cancel my John Lewis order ordered the 65 inch one and then they accidentally sent it two days early how do you accidentally deliver something two days early it was ridiculous I ordered it on a Sunday and it came on the Monday, which has never happened in the history of ever for me, unless it's Amazon. But, you know, uh, I've got a soundbar down there just because LG TV, I mean, uh, OLED TV speakers anyway, are stupidly bad. Uh, Xbox One, PS4. And then this area is quite a nice little place. My mum's going to make a cover for this thing because I had cats and then, you know, the dog, Albert, he uh, may have shredded that and... Yeah, it's just got weak over time, but there's like a little reading area. Got my HomePod there so I can listen to some music. It's really good, actually. The HomePod fills this room. Fills it. Crazy. Um, but yeah, so I've got all my books there. Uh, a few cards there for moving into this place. And then you may have noticed some of these around, these white things. They are uh, room diffusers. Because I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm like level 15 adult right now, my friends. Level 15. Oh, and... Um, like things like my iPad and stuff I've got. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. I may have rambled a bit. Oh, there's a, a phone on the wall. So if anyone you know, wants to come up, they can ring. But then I've got to go down and let them in the inside door. This building's very secure, which makes me feel safe. Uh, but also those weapons make me feel safe. Uh, so so, so. so uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. The, 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 I'd say the view is my favorite part of this place, to be honest. And uh, I touched on it in the video that I did where I was thanking you guys, but I just feel happier here. I think it's because in my previous place, I was underground. Um, and then since I got broken into, I couldn't really leave my blinds open that were onto the street because it's basically inviting people in. So I had my blinds constantly shut. So I couldn't see out. I got no natural light. It was just very bleak and depressing i guess um but here like like i said i wake up to the sunlight no, even if it's a bad day it's still a nice view to look at you know um and because i spend so much time at home because i work from home and everything it's just i don't know i'm genuinely really really happy here um and again it's all thanks to you guys i wouldn't be in a position like this where i get to live in a place like this otherwise other than for you so yeah thank you and I, yeah, I got a car as well. It's a lease car. I don't own the car, just for anyone that wants to know. Um, I don't see the point in owning a car. I don't see the point in shelling out like 40 grand for a car when as soon as you drive it away, it's going to be worth about, I don't know, 15 grand or something. So even if you sell it, you've lost all your money. So my thinking was, why not just lease a car? Yes, you don't have anything at the end of it, but... I know myself, I know I'll get bored of the car after two years, which is how long I've got it for. I know I'll want something else. So it just makes sense to me. And to be fair, I like the idea of renting houses instead of buying at the moment. 
And leasing a car is basically the same thing. You just gotta be very careful not to damage it because it gets very expensive. But no, it's if anyone's considering leasing, I'd recommend it. Because um, especially if you go for like a new car, if it's a new car, like my one came straight from Germany, um, because it's brand new, you don't have to service it for the first year or whatever. There's just a load of benefits to doing a lease, to leasing rather than owning it yourself, because the, the leasing company has to worry about all the bad things and you don't really have to worry about anything. It saves you a lot of money in the long run, basically. Well, no, I don't know. Uh, don't, don't take my advice, I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't, don't listen to me. But um, yeah, the last thing I wanted to say is I'm really out of breath. I vlog, walk around, and I'm not allowed breath. It's not good. <sighs> okay. There we go. Um, yeah, what I was gonna say is, I've been pondering the idea now for a while of changing my YouTube channel name. I've been Willie B for a while. Uh, for a while, I felt it's a bit cringy. Um, at first, I didn't really care because I was like, I, I put, like, I'm, I'm genuine in my videos but there i do have this kind of persona that i do sort of add on when i'm doing my videos i think everyone does um i'm still me it's still genuinely me everything i say is i still mean you know um like it's still all coming from me i'm not just saying whatever i'm saying because i'm in a character it's like just a characterized version of myself if that makes sense um, so at the time i was like oh willie beach is a funny name even if it's a bit cringy it's funny now i don't know I don't know. Now I'm kind of just in a position where I'm genuinely thinking of just changing it to my name, Will Bangor. Because my name's not even Willie. A lot of people think my name is Willie. It's not. My name's William. I like to be called Will. You can call me whatever you want. Um, I think I've got coronavirus. I'm really sniffly. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Damn. <laughs> That'll make for a fun series. Um, so yeah, let me know. What, if I do change it, it will literally be to my name or will be or something like that. But the reason I was thinking about doing it just to Will Bangora is because that's my name on every single one of my social media platforms. And I just feel like that'd be quite a cool thing to have every single thing that I do on the internet is under the same name, you know? And then my brand is me. I am my brand. Because you should make yourself your brand. It makes it so much easier for people to remember stuff if every single thing they have to type in is the, just this person's name. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I, I like my surname. I think it's quite cool. I did change my channel name to my surname a few years back, but then I, I panicked and changed it back because I lost my verification tick and I just thought YouTube was going to shit on me, but it didn't. I just panicked and just, yeah, it all went wrong. But I spoke to my YouTube partner, manager guy, and he said that I can do it. I can change it. It should be all fine. Oh, there's a doggy playing down there. I if you can see. That's cute. Um, he said I can change it, and then he said I'll lose the tick, but he'll be able to get it back for me pretty much immediately, so I can do it. I just, I, I personally want to do it, because I'm not saying I want to stop doing my gaming stuff at all. I don't want to stop it at all, but I want to add in other things. I want to add in more creative stuff from me, um, and not just do gaming every day. Uh, I, I will still do gaming videos. That will probably still be the main focus, because I do enjoy it. But if I change my channel name to me, I won't feel locked into having to be this one thing, you know? If it's just my name, my brand, then I can do what I want on that channel. And then, you know, you could get little random videos every now and again, you could get long live streams, you could get adventure videos, you can get vlogs, and then you could get gaming videos, walkthroughs, whatever. I just, I don't know, I feel like it, it, it'll be beneficial for me. I feel like it'd be a big step because uh, I'm scared that if I do it, then people won't be able to find me. People will just be like, oh, who's this geezer? And then, you know, but that's why I thought I'd talk it in a video through to you guys, see what you guys think. And yeah, so let me know in the comments if you see someone, um, I might do a poll. If I remember to do a poll, I'll do a poll. If I, no, I will do a poll. I will do a poll. All right, that will be a thing. So vote in the poll if you don't mind. That would be lovely. And yeah, also, Last thing, channel memberships, I will be updating those very soon. I'm gonna have a really, really low tier for anyone that just wants to support me but doesn't really have the money to do it because I've had a lot of people asking for that. Uh, and then like middle ones and then a high one where I will offer something quite cool as a, as a sort of reward for anyone that wants to do that 
and you know help me out in that way but that's not important really that's just something that i wanted to say for those of you that are asking also yeah i'm really out of breath <laughs> i don't know why anyway I have some editing to do. I've got a little bit of work to do and then I've got a little bit of chilling to do because I deserve it. It's the weekend. Why not? But yeah. Also, let me know in the comments what other games you want to see. Or, or follow me on Twitter and then let, follow and then tweet me because I'm looking for other games to play. Like I said, I'm looking at Dying Light at the moment, The Last of Us, the first one. Um, just a few different things. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Also, again... Thank you, genuinely, because this, I've never been happier than I am right now, I don't think. And, uh, well, this place is all thanks to you. I don't own it, I rent it, but still, it's all thanks to you. Mwah! Goodbye!